takes great care of himself and uh, was able to, uh, to to give us that spark that we needed that, that we felt like was going to help us uh, do some things, not only to get into the playoffs, but to be successful you know, in the playoffs. And uh, that, that goes with, with the running game, with taking care of the football, playing great defense, fundamentals and technique. Uh, and I know the O-line was extremely happy and did a great job for him, the tight ends, the receivers. You know, it's not just one guy that, uh, you know, you hand him the ball and, and see what he can do. There's a lot of guys that go into to, to making things work on offense and on defense. He's a guy that had a lot of carries last year, so, you know, taking that from last year to this year, if he's back, is that something like an area of concern? Back to back, 300 to 400 carries a year? You know, I, this is, I usually just ask the players if, if they're okay, and I've, I've never had a player say, no, I'm not, not okay to, to get the ball. Or, or you know, be tired? No. You know, do you want to play? Yeah. So that's usually how I handle it. It's like coming, you know, if you're a pass rusher, you want to come out of the game in two minutes? No, I'll stay in there and rush. Again, we have a lot of players um, with expiring contracts. That's part of this um, this business. And, and again, excited that John has allowed me to to be involved with the process of bringing having a conversation of, of how we want to put our football team together. And you know, we'll have to make decisions. Free agency is a two-way street. Players have to have to want to be back, and, and teams have to make uh, tough decisions on, on who to bring back. So you know, we continue to have those conversations. I think consistency is a, a huge part of uh, success, um, prolonged success, to be able to do it over and over and repeatedly um, play at a high level. So, again, we're all working to, to try to be more consistent, try to be more consistent players and, uh, and, and, and more consistent coaches. Uh, we had 31 pre-snap penalties on offense. <clears throat> so when we complain about how we are on third down, uh, that would be one thing to, to fix and not make it third and seven uh, or make it second and, and 13 and, and try to convert those long yarded situations by not uh, having pre-snap penalties. You know, defensively, we have to continue to improve our, you know, our red zone. We went from first to, to last or close to last, and, and we have to find out why uh, and do a better job there. We weren't uh, we're good in third down. We we're good in, you know, the run game. But, but again, when you, when you can be really good in the red zone, you can keep teams, uh, make them kick field goals. You have a chance to win games. Offensively, we have to run more plays. We had the, the second most uh, yards per play, but we had the third fewest plays. And we got to run more plays. It doesn't take a genius to understand that. We just have to find ways to convert uh, and be better on third down. The tempo on. We're talking about running more plays. Well, it's not that we're going fast. I mean, you can you can run plays and you can run them fast and go three and out. Uh, it's not about as, you know the tempo and the speed. You know, uh, the Chiefs huddle every play. That's just what they do, and they run plenty of plays, and but they're efficient. You know, they convert um, third down, and so we have to do better and stand. You know, we made a commitment after the bye week of figuring out why we were not very good. It was because we were in too many third and longs, and so uh, the numbers will tell you that the, the less time you can spend in third and long, and, and the more time you can spend in third and three or four, uh, you're going to convert more third downs and and then you know, continue those drives. We've had those conversations all year about you know, why aren't you getting this guy the ball more? Or why isn't this guy doing well? we, we got to be able to run more plays to, to get those players uh, that we want to f- focus on, whether it be the tight end, the receiver, the runner. Um, we have to have more plays to get those guys the opportunity to, to make plays for us. Has this said to be a grand you see speed receivers that can come in and help you right away and bring that element maybe that was missing so much? Sure, there's a lot of guys, you know, that whether it's um, – what element was missing? We threw the ball over people's head uh, plenty. We threw it to AJ on a, on a four-yard route, and he ran 70 yards. So I'll get back with you, and you can you can tell us what we need and what we're missing. When you look at this, seven yards of play, second in the NFL. When you look at this group of edge guys, some are really productive, but maybe not as twitchy. Where some are twitchy and not as productive. How do you go about playing against each other? Actually, like. But, the whole combine and evaluation, you have to watch the tape. It, it really, one thing that I, I've enjoyed doing with John is watching these guys back-to-back at the same position. So you put seven or eight players on there and you just watch them back-to-back and you can start to see, okay, maybe this is the guy that kind of 
creeps ahead and then you use the combine and the interview um, and the workout or the individual workout or the pro day to try to you know make a profile of the player but I think that's something that's really I think helped us is being able to watch those guys back to back and say okay that guy you can see when he moves maybe it moves a little quicker or when he puts his foot in the ground um, he has a little bit better burst uh, maybe than the other two players. How tough is it to do what Ryan did last year? You have to ask Ryan. You know, I mean, I don't, I've never played quarterback uh, in the National Football League. So, again, he was a great leader for us. Um, but how tough that was, I, I think you'd have to catch Ryan. Mark, you might be the last coach to compete against Tom Brady as a Patriot. I'm just wondering if you could tell us what you saw from Tom on that Saturday and as you were studying a week leading up to that game. A very accurate passer. Um, you know, a player that uh, has got great command of the pocket. Uh, we try to mix um, some of the three-man rushes up on him, and, and when he sees that, a lot of quarterbacks will just ex, you know, escape the pocket and go out of the pocket where we, where we want him to go. And um, you know, Tom did a great job of staying in the pocket when we, when we mix some of those three-man rushes in. Um, uh, a great command of, of the offense. He's a great leader. So that's, that's what I saw. When you, you say you're in the loop about this, but when you go into a season, a lot of uncertainty with the free agent. How does that affect you as a coach? I, I, I tell the players and, and the coaches that whoever comes in the meeting room on April 20th, that's who I'll coach. And whoever shows up, when we end up getting to 53 guys and 10 guys on the practice squad, uh, I'll, I'll do my best to coach them and, and try to put the players in the best position, not only to help themselves, but but to help the team. And, and that's really been my stance uh, for as long as I can remember. So you're not banging on the table saying, you got to bring this guy. Well, I mean, John and I have those conversations every single day about, you know, how, how do we want our football team to look? Um, you know, we're, we're going we're gonna to commit to doing things uh, how we believe uh, is best, and that's to play with great effort and finish, to concentrate on the details, um, to eliminate foolish penalties, and to uh, take care of the football and, and try to turn it over. Those, those aren't going to change. Uh, those are what we call team keys, and those are going to stay the same uh, as long as I'm the head coach. All we were looking for is a great attitude in his rehab, and he attacked his rehab. Um, Jeff's a, a, a great young man to be around. Uh, he cares a lot about his teammates. I would say he's an unbelievable teammate. Uh, I, I appreciated the fact, and I know our coaches did and our organization did, uh, that, he, that he pushed through. Um, some discomfort as he was working through um, his rehab and his return to play. Um, and, and as you watch, I think that there's a lot of plays that he impacted, and he was uh, very disruptive. Uh, but there is the exciting thing is there's a lot of room for improvement uh, in technique and pad level. Uh, those are all great things.